Some new NBC News exclusive reporting on a dangerous way gun dealers are marketing their weapons, including violent threats against President Biden. Let's go Brandon stickers. That's a code phrase for a swearing insult at the president. NBC's Ken Delanian is breaking this story. So this is really the latest example of how volatile American politics has become, Joe. A South Carolina gun dealer called Palmetto State Armory is selling what is known as a lower receiver, which is essentially the guts of an AR-15 assault rifle branded let's go 15 and as you said on the weapons fire selector the expletive we can't say on television is next to the safety mode oh shit fuck okay you're definitely going to want to see this MSNBC meltdown, but first, give me just 30 seconds to tell you about this special offer from preparewithdronetech.com. These days, the future is still more uncertain than ever. That's why people who know what's coming are using today to prepare. You can't wait until the last moment. By then, it's too late. The most important thing you need is long-term storage emergency food. And right now, you can save $50 off a four-week supply of delicious meals that provide 2,000 plus calories a day. Calories give you the energy you need to survive. And saving $50 is impossible to pass up, but supplies are limited. So go to www.preparewithdronetech.com right now and stock up. That's preparewithdronetech.com. There's no time to lose. Do it now. Greetings, fellow truth seekers. I'm Drone Tech. Let's go, Brandon. It's just the gift that I hope never ends. They say the left can't meme, and right now they're proving they can't take one either. They have to start fear-mongering and propagandizing the country to think a harmless phrase like, let's go, Brandon, is tantamount to a terrorist threat from an American ISIS cell. We have some new NBC News exclusive reporting on a dangerous way gun dealers are marketing their weapons, including violent threats against President Biden. Excuse me, um, in what way, shape, or form could let's go, Brandon, ever be construed as a threat? Because is inscribed on the lower receiver of a rifle? It's a marketable joke, that's all. It's on everything now. But that's what these hacks do. They literally just make up the most insane lie they can think of because they're desperate to silence the dissent of their political opponents and critics. Going as far as changing the inscription on the safety lever of its AR-15 rifle. Meanwhile, two other gun manufacturers are advertising AR-15 magazines with Let's Go Brandon stickers. That's a code phrase for a swearing insult at the president. Let's go Brandon stickers. That's a code phrase for a swearing insult at the president. A what? Let's go Brandon, according to left-wing propagandists, is a quote, code phrase for a swearing insult. Oh no, a swear? We're in some real pretty shit now, man. A code phrase? Well, if it's a code phrase, it's one that was created by your network in a clumsy attempt to deceive Americans about what was actually being chanted at a NASCAR race. NBC's Ken Delanian is breaking this story. So Ken, folks may have a lot of questions, especially trying to understand what this Brandon thing is. Take us yeah. through your reporting. This is really the latest example of how volatile American politics has become, Joe. I'm acting right now, Joe. A South Carolina gun dealer called Palmetto State Armory is selling what is known as a lower receiver, which is essentially the guts of an AR-15 assault rifle branded Let's Go 15. No. 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 No, not that one. No. 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 And as you said, on the weapons fire selector, the expletive we can't say on television is next to the safety mode. Oh yeah, we wouldn't want to hear those expletives on MSNBC now, would we? Ken, what have you learned, sir? Oh shit. Fuck. Okay. Yep, that was the exact same guy, CIA puppet Ken Delanian. And again, no, I'm not being hyperbolic. Ken Delanian is quite literally a CIA mop-up man actually clearing stories with the CIA before publication. Now it appears that he's up to his old tricks, playing a part in a psyop to deceive and scare Americans into hating their neighbors. I reached out to the Secret Service to see whether they consider this a threat against the president, but a spokesman declined to comment. <laughs> My God, he's actually trying to bring down the Secret Service onto Americans who are just exercising their First Amendment rights. But now we're all to believe that it's a seditious call to violence. Remember, now this is serious. This is the very same network that's promoting the idea of treating what they call incitement to violence like we would if we were dealing with terrorists 
in Afghanistan, meaning drone bomb them or other deadly force. So yes, these maniacs are trying to build a case or maybe just think of it as priming the people that are watching for government use of authoritarian tactics and violence against American citizens. If we can go after international terrorists, why can't we do it at home? Today, we're mostly looking at our neighbors rather than a Osama bin Laden that's far off in Afghanistan. Bin Laden and co didn't have supporters and sympathizers among the House Republican caucus. The Republican Party is basically a domestic terrorist cell at this point, and they should be treated as such. There are elements of the GOP that are starting to look like the jihadists. Al-Qaeda wasn't umbilically linked to the American conservative movement in the way that these domestic extremists clearly are. We had a policy, and it was very controversial, it was carried out under the Bush years, attacking terrorism at its root of going after and killing, um, and in the case of Amr al awlaki an American, a Yemeni American, with a drone strike for the crime of inciting violence. And how do you deal with a domestic terror threat without dealing with those inciting it and spreading it? As Miles is talking about, is exactly right. If you took what President Trump said and you instead put it in Amr al awlakis mouth, we would be talking about a drone strike. Unfortunately, that is the America that we're living in right now. If you're doing business with ADT Security Services, Dell, or Discover, it might be a good time to find some alternate providers. These companies all sponsored this attack on our constitutional federal republic. Why spend money on people that not just hate you, but want to bring down the violent force of government on you for exercising your constitutional rights? As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and let me know your thoughts in the comments.